Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of A Word in History. Today we will take a step back to the past and find out more about one English word that you use every single day. Stay tuned. Today's word is such a great one. It is a word used by all of us, maybe every single day, a word that we tell our parents, brothers, sisters and even friends. Today's word is love. What is the origin of the word and how was it used in the past? So, everyone knows what the word love means. However, not everyone is familiar with its origin and its first appearance in history. Furthermore, few people know its different pronunciation and how it has changed throughout the years. First, what does the word love mean? If you want to use the word love, you should know that it is a feeling of deep affection, passion or strong liking for a person or a thing. Love is an amazing feeling, something that connects you to those you respect and care about. But why is its origin? The word love was first used in the Pai language, or Proto-Indo-European language. It was used between 4500 BC and 2500 BC, but it wasn't pronounced as love. It was pronounced as lub, and it meant to care and to desire. Love also comes from the Middle English word love, which was taken from the Old English word lufo. And as we can see, both are similar to the word love, a word used in Old German, and to another Old English word live, which means dear. The word love also comes from the Latin word luber or liber, which means to please, and it was used in the Roman Empire, especially by the Christians. Now, according to my research, most of the words used in the past that are related to love are linked to words like dear and pleasing, which are directly hinting to the modern way of us using the word. If we go deeper into language used in the past, and this time to ancient Greek, agape is a word used in the ancient Greek text of the Bible which means love or pure love, love that comes from deep within, just like those stories were read in old plays like Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. Although it was a tragedy, not really a romance, which means both characters died at the end, and by died I mean, spoiler alert, killed themselves, but it did involve pure love, regardless of the fact that Romeo was about 13 or 16 and Juliet was definitely 13 years old, which makes it a bit Weird, how can these two very young individuals from completely different backgrounds and societies fall in love in such a young age? A bit sceptical since it might need a really mature mentality and a wide understanding of passion to really have pure love. Pure love without sexual connotations. But at that age, mm, let me know in the comments below. If you want more information about Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare, let me know in the comments. And also, if you believe in love at first sight, let me know below as well. Let's go even deeper into language. Eros is another Greek word that means passionate love that is full of desire and longing. Let's say you care for someone so much and they are far away, you can't wait for them to come back and if they are back, you would definitely hug them. That's what Eros means. Another Greek word is philia, a word used by Aristotle, a famous Greek philosopher and scientist, also a student of Plato and a tutor to Alexander the Great. Don't get confused and mistaken Alexander the Great with Alexander the Qarnain, the one mentioned in the Quran, Surah Al-Kahf, the one who built the wall to separate Yajuj and Majuj from the Muslims in the past. Alexander the Qarnain was a Muslim who travelled the word and helped others. Alexander the Great was a completely different person. Now, the word used by Aristotle, philia, meant selfless love or dispassionate love that is not driven by very strong emotions. Philia also means friendship or brotherly love. Different words were used in Greek and another one was xenia and it meant to be helpful and giving others as in charity and so on. We also noticed that all words used in Greek to show caring were strongly linked to love. If we want to know the very beginning of the word love, we have to travel back, way back to the past and this time we have to look at the word love in the Pi language and how did it change from there. From Pi language, the word started to be used in Proto-Germanic as lubo, and then to Old English lufo, which meant the feeling of love and affection. So as we can see, the meaning of the word did not change throughout history, and we're talking about 5,000 years ago. Love, lubo, lufo, philia, agape. Although all of these words and others are pronounced differently in different languages and cultures, they still meant and mean the same thing today, which is love. However, we don't use these terms nowadays as they died with the languages. We say love in English and everyone in understands it that way. The word love in Christianity has travelled from Rome to Greece, and in Islam, Al-Wadud is one of God's names, and it means the loving. Also, most of God's names are full of love, like most merciful and most compassionate, and all of these forms of love were stated the same way in all religions. From loving our neighbours to our friends, siblings and parents, love was always about giving selflessly and unconditionally. Now, with the time the word love travelled with people and its pronunciation changed, and it was first used as L-O-V-E in English in the 13th century, 
commentary, and it was used in different writings as well. And also, people used the phrase fall in love in the 15th century, along with other expressions starting from then. Love is such a great feeling. It doesn't just bring people together, but it creates the strongest links amongst humans and between humans and their creator. Love is when you fulfill God's obligations towards the people you claim to care about. This is the end of a word in history. Stay safe. Peace.